Okay, today we're going to take a look at the angle sum formula. And we're going to look particularly where it comes from. It's uh, pretty handy. So you have cosine of two angles, alpha plus beta, equals, <clears throat> and I can never remember this, so I don't expect you to remember it. Cosine alpha times cosine of beta minus sine of alpha sine of beta. And the sine form, sine angle sum form, <coughs> is sine of alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine of beta. I didn't want to write these the same. So that, that's the two of them. And you can use the properties of sine and cosine to change these into uh, the difference formula, alpha minus beta, which is very similar, just changes the signs here. <coughs> so, well, how does this, uh, where do these come from? We don't like to just voice things upon you and tell you to believe them. Things like the Pythagorean theorem are pretty easy to demonstrate in geometry. This one's a little harder to de demonstrate with triangles. I've seen it done and it's, it's, it's pretty involved. But since you have already had imaginary numbers, we're going to take a trip to the imaginary plane and we're going to retrieve this thing. Uh, here's your imaginary plane. And the interesting thing we're going to look at is what happens to, you know, this function here to e to the x. <coughs> it's the exponential function. As x gets larger and larger, this goes, gets larger and larger. And it's exponential growth. You're very familiar with this. But, Turns out this does something very strange if we put an imaginary number up there. e to the i x. I don't want to run into that other i. It does weird things. It doesn't go off to infinity. It lives in the imaginary plane. And it goes around in a circle. It's very strange. I'm not, I'm not sure why. It's not obvious to me why this does this. and But it does this. As you put in larger values of x, this goes around and around in the circle. And this is why we usually write this e to the i theta, because it turns out this is equal to cosine of theta plus i sine theta. It's very strange. So in the imaginary numbers, it goes out as sine theta. As it starts at zero, as theta starts at zero, this is e to the zero, which is one. So that's the cosine of one is zero, and the sine of theta is zero. But as this gets larger, it goes around and around here. So it's pretty unusual, and it's a really important formula for later on as you get into uh, various branches of science and engineering. So it's also called the Euler formula, named after the mathematician Euler. Leonard Euler, German mathematician. <clears throat> Looks like Euler, but it's Euler. Okay, so that's great. But the neat thing is we can use this equation to get the angle sum formulas. So e to the i theta equals cosine of theta plus i sine theta. <clears throat> I was thinking of a different, this gives us one of a very beautiful formula. We'll deal that some other time, maybe. So how about e to the i alpha plus 
pay that. Well, here instead of using theta, we use alpha plus beta, and we'll use this to try and get our formula. Well, now this turns into an exponential function, and if you have something x to the a plus b, it's the same as x to the a, x to the b, right? You know those from your working with exponents. It's the same thing here. This equals e to the i alpha times e to the i beta. Now we've set up our equation. We can put this thing back in there. So we get cosine of alpha plus beta plus i sine alpha plus beta equals cosine of alpha plus i oops I'm gonna do that cosine of alpha plus i sine alpha times cosine of beta plus i sine beta. All right, we're just using our regular algebra rules. We replace this with cosine of plus i sine, this with cosine plus i sine, blah, blah, blah. And we have this. Now we do have to multiply this out. And so we get, bear with me here. So we use our FOIL rules. We get cosine alpha, cosine beta plus, that's the first, the outer ones are cosine alpha i sine beta. All right, the inner terms are plus i sine alpha cosine beta. And we get one last term, i times i, I squared sine alpha sine beta. Okay, doesn't look like we're getting very far here, but take a look at this. The thing about uh, an equation which has a part, a real part and imaginary part, if that's true, then the real part has to equal the other real part, and the imaginary part has to equal the other imaginary part. So this turns into the real part on the left side is cosine of alpha plus beta equals, there are four terms here, two of them are real, these have i's in them. The i squared turns into uh, minus one. So we have cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus sine alpha sine beta. Look at that, there it is. There is the some angle formula coming out of the Euler formula. Pretty neat, we don't have to do any involved uh, geometry. This works for any angle. There's no uh, restrictions we made on, uh, there's no restrictions we made on, it has to be first quadrant or anything. How about the imaginary part? The imaginary part is I'm going to leave the eyes off the imaginary part because we can factor them out at the end. Sine of alpha plus beta equals the two imaginary terms are these two cosine alpha sine beta. I should have had an n in here. A small n plus this other term sine alpha cosine beta. I always, here they are, the two uh, summation formulas. This to me is really marvelous. I mean, uh, that we don't need any special algebra to get these two things. They just fall out naturally out of this nice uh, formula here. Often later on you may stop using cosine and sine and use e to the i theta in some problems. So you'll need that if we're going to quantum theory and things like that. All right, so there they are. The sum angle formulas come out naturally from the Euler equation 
once you're familiar, a little familiar, with the imaginary plane. So we can use that to solve problems. It's pretty straightforward. But now you know where it comes from. And even if in a pinch, if you can't remember these or what the signs go on, if you could just remember this, you could just calculate that out. And that would give you your two equations.